gift of misery. What if the worst times of our lives turn out really to be the best, and the times we think are the best turn out to be the worst? In our viewpoint, when we're successful and our life is filled with things that make us happy, we feel blessed. But as we see in today's passage from Nehemiah 9, sometimes our blessings turn out to be bad for our walk with God. If we're not careful, God's blessings can actually move our hearts away from following Jesus. When we're more caught up with what God gives rather than who God is, our walk with God is headed for trouble. Today we'll look at Nehemiah 9 verses 25 through 38. Verse 25 says, Our ancestors captured fortified cities and fertile land. They took over houses full of good things, with cisterns already dug, and vineyards and olive groves and fruit trees in abundance. So they ate until they were full and grew fat and enjoyed themselves in all your blessings. God's children had it made. God had given them great victories over their enemies. They had taken over a rich and prosperous land, moved into well-furnished houses with wells already dug and established gardens and vineyards. They were blessed with abundance. Their lives were prosperous and happy. God's goodness to them gave them much to enjoy. But then the next verse, Nehemiah 9.26, But despite all this, they were disobedient and rebelled against you. They turned their backs on your law, they killed your prophets who warned them to return to you, and they committed terrible blasphemies. This is the story of history. All through the Old Testament we see this cycle repeated. God blesses His people. They see God move in miraculous ways to deliver them and provide for them. Seeing God's hand at work on their behalf fills them with awe and their hearts are caught up with praise. They love being blessed by God. But before long, they start loving His blessings more than loving God Himself. This is when the best things can end up being the worst things for us. Remember, when we are more caught up with what God gives rather than who God is, our walk with God is heaven for trouble and God sees their hearts turning away from Him, and He allows bad things to happen. Nehemiah 9.27 says, So God handed them over to their enemies who made them suffer. God allows them to suffer, to be distressed. He replaces the gift of blessing with the gift of misery. Nehemiah chapter 9 is rich with descriptions of the character of God. In this chapter, we see God as the Lord Jehovah, the God who is personally involved in every detail of His people's lives. He is the God who keeps His promises, who leads His people, who provides for and protects His own. He is the God who is ready to forgive, patient, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. He never abandons His children, even when they abandon Him. Over seven times in this chapter, God is described as merciful. Because of His mercy, He is patient and compassionate, even with those who are rebellious and stubbornly disobedient. Nehemiah 9, 36 and 37 says, So now today we are slaves in the land of plenty that you gave our ancestors for their enjoyment. We are slaves here in this good land. We serve our enemies at their pleasure, and we are in great misery. Here we see the gift of misery. They became slaves in the midst of all their abundance. God loves His people so much that He's willing to do whatever it takes to capture their hearts. When He saw their rebellion and disobedience, He refused to give up on them. He could not sit by and let them go their own way. One thing God cannot do, He cannot bless sin. Because of His great love for us, He will allow us to experience the gift of misery. Misery opens our eyes to see what we truly love and worship. Misery can turn our hearts back to God as it shows us how much we need Him. Misery is a gift when it causes us to run back to the arms of our merciful God. Let's pray. Father, we're so grateful that You don't treat us as our sins deserve. Thank you for being so faithful to us, even when we're unfaithful to you. You're such a great God, a God of compassion and mercy and full of loving kindness towards us. Please capture our hearts. We want to love you more than the blessings you give us.